ever stared at those two boxes in stats direct analysis settings and thought should i change this or just pretend they don't exist <laughs> now if you are doing still design with direct analysis and not sure what those iterations actually do you are about to get the clearest answer you have ever heard let's break this down simply and practically so even if you are just starting out you'll feel confident C. In direct analysis, STAD reduces the structural steepness using a factor called TABI. See, this accounts for real-world imperfections like out-of-straightness and instability. So, the first iteration box controls how many times STAD recalculates that TABI factor. More iterations, more refined steepness reduction. Usually, 1 to 10 is just good enough number, but default is 1. And if you enter 0, it still uses 1. So unless your structure is very slender or sensitive to second order defects, 1 to 3 is often sufficient. <laughs> now see, the second box is all about P delta effects. Those extra moments caused by the vertical loads acting on the display structure. See, STAT performs several internal loops to capture this behavior. Now this second number controls how many P delta iterations are done within each tau B iteration. See, here the default is 15 so if tau b is set to 3 stat may perform 3 into 15 that is 45 iterations in total so this is key to accurate second order analysis especially for tall or flexible structures see for most of the cases start with tau b as 1 and p delta as 15 then increase these numbers gradually only if the results aren't converging you are working with tall frames or lightweight structures or your design is highly sensitive to second order effects so always check your structure's behavior before blindly tricking so basically direct analysis isn't just a fancy feature it's the backbone of accurate steel design see if this helped clear up the confusion like share and follow for more real world structural tips simplified for you and always remember don't just learn software learn concepts i'll see you in the next video